There's not one other story. So last night, I don't know if the suits at CBS heard us talking about that or not, but they decided to go out and try to find some Trump supporters, gave them some time maybe to balance what they had done the previous night. They found two black and one white uh, Trump supporter, three people, and I want you to hear what these sounded like. The uh, the names involved here, correspondent Mark Strassman, the three female supporters for Trump are Janelle Jones, Ellen Deal, and Lucretia, one of my all-time favorite female names, by the way, Lucretia, not to be confused with Lucrezia. It was Lucrezia Borgia. This is Lucretia, as in DeVille. Anyway, these three women, two black, one white, CBS found them to talk about the Trump controversy. Here's the first bite. Has your support for Trump lessened one bit? Absolutely not. Not at all. No. Not one bit. No, I don't look at him as, you know, my pastor or my moral leader. I look at him as the leader as it relates to governmental issues. We're not looking for somebody charming. We're looking for a man who knows how to turn things around. And he's got a track record of turning things around. Sound bite number two. When you saw Charlottesville, what did that say about where we are as a country? It wasn't necessarily a completely black-white issue, but I think that the media is turning it into a black-white issue. It's definitely a left-right issue, but it's left fringe and right fringe. The Confederate statues don't bother you? No. It's history. I wasn't born back then. You wasn't either. So why is that affecting us? If anything, we should grow and learn from it. Just like Martin Luther King said, you don't judge people by the color of their skin. You base that on their character. See, these people understand something here. And these people at CBS, I guess, I guarantee you, genuinely shocked that they were able to find them. And then with what they said. Remember, these people in the media do not really think people like this exist. They, they have an arrogance about them that it's just automatic. Whatever they believe and think, they assume 80% of the country the same way. And that's how they go about reporting these stories. But you, this, this woman... That was Lucretia, by the way, who said, no, I wasn't born back then and you weren't either. Why is that affecting us? If anything, we should grow and learn from it, like Martin Luther King said. What does she know? She knows that black people who were never slaves are fighting white people who were never Nazis over a Confederate statue or statues that Democrats put up. And now, for some reason, the Democrats don't want to live with what they did, and it's now become Trump's fault. And these people are not buying it. Soundbite number three. How do you explain what your support is for a president, given the criticism he's had on this race issue? I think for myself, period. Nobody's going to tell me what to think or how to think. I'm not gullible and I'm not blind. It's my decision if I'm going to support someone or not, not go by what other people has to say. And to me, what I've seen and what I, I love, I'm not, he's not going to lose my.